Hi, I'm Matt Dansko with Discovery News. We're here in New York City at the Science Barge to learn about sustainable urban agriculture. Sustainable urban agriculture is a way to grow food in a city, uh, either on buildings or in vacant lots and available space, to reduce uh, food transport into cities and really grow food where people live for a more carbon neutral, fresh, flavorful, uh, nutritious product. The Science Barge floats in the Hudson River in New York City and is the only working example of a sustainable urban farm in the area. Their mission is to not only grow food without damaging the environment around them, but also to educate people on the benefits of sustainability. Sustainability is really reducing the impact on the environment with choices you make. What you decide as a consumer to purchase as a food product, you're really voting with your food dollars of what you believe in. The sustainable pr uh, production methods that we're looking at are controlled environment agriculture. So we're looking at greenhouses coupled with recirculating hydroponic systems, powered by renewable energy sources and irrigated by rainwater collection. On the barge, these renewable energy systems consist of solar panels, wind generators, and a biodiesel generator. That energy is used to power pumps that help grow plants through water-based technologies, and it can even help grow fish. You won't, you can't really see them, but because the water has uh, all this compost tea in it, but we have tilapia in this tank, and so what we're doing is um, all the plant material that we have left over that we're not eating, we'll compost that and we compost it with worms and then those worms we feed to our fish. Our fish waste goes through a biological filter to convert some of the um, elements. Then that will go to feed our plants and then the plants will take up those nutrients to clean the water for the fish. So this is just a continuous cycle and then that lets us do produce fish and plants in the same space still using controlled environment agriculture but eliminating some of those other inputs that we're using like fertilizers. To get water for these systems we have uh, two ways. We get water from the rain and from the river. So these are our rainwater storage tanks. We have 1200 gallons of storage capacity here. We get the rain from the greenhouse roof. The greenhouse is 1300 square feet so in a one inch rain event we can collect about 800 gallons of water. And with the collection of this water that will be used and reused before being dumped back out into the environment without hazardous wastes, the cycle of sustainability is complete. This type of sustainable farming works for the barge in New York, but Jen Nelkin urges people to think about the best sustainable process for their area. Sustainability is important for every decision that you make, and that decision that you do make is dependent on where you are and what is available to you. For Discovery News, I'm Matt Danzico.